Hi, this is Dr. Veronica, and I want to tell you a little bit about why I became a doctor. When I was four years old, I used to walk around the house and I noticed that I liked helping people. I liked assisting people. I liked doing things with my mother. Um, but I also just always used to look around and have the urge to help people who were in need. Yes, at the age of four, you think, how could you be like that? But even young children have compassion for people, and that was me. I've always been a bleeding heart. So at the around four years old, I said to my mother, Mom, I want to be a nurse. And my mother said to me, Ronnie, why don't you think about being a doctor? You'll have much more freedom in your life if you be a doctor. You can a lot of times be the boss of your doctor. Interesting thing about that is when I found that I was a doctor and I was working in the hospital many a times, it was the nurses who told me what to do. When I was in operating, it was the nurses who told me what I could and could not do as the doctor. And so it's kind of interesting how things flipped around. However, being a doctor, I got lots of freedom. But why did I leave medicine? Because despite loving helping people, medicine just got very arduous for me. I loved my patients. However, I couldn't stand the business of medicine. I didn't like the way the insurance companies were treating doctors. My pay was going down per patient year by year from the moment that I stepped into practice. The better I got at doing things, the less I got paid for doing things. And I don't know any other profession that that happens is. All my friends who were lawyers, and I went to school with Michelle Obama. All my friends went to great law schools and things like that. And I have a lot of friends who are doctors. My lawyer friends are partners at law firms pulling in these great salaries with fabulous jobs. My doctor friends are kind of struggling along in practice. And although you end up being reasonably comfortable in, in medicine, sometimes it's really even hard to get out of your debt from medical school and um, starting your practice or whatever training that you've been through. So I decided that, you know, after the negatives of practicing medicine, um, I wanted to leave. But one other thing that I noticed really when I was practicing medicine is there were so many things that people needed to know that we were not providing as physicians in Western medicine. There are so many things that work besides pills and surgery. And guess what? I was a surgeon. I was an eye surgeon. And I used to operate on people. I used to give people eye drops. I used to give people pills. But I realized that what was affecting people's eyes was their lifestyle. And there were many ways to control your lifestyle or manage your lifestyle. And in Western medicine, we weren't teaching people the skills to manage their lifestyle. So as I worked with my own life and figured out how to maintain my weight, figured out how to eat the right food, and I did these things for my family, I started discovering areas like Chinese herbal medicine, like teas, like Ayurveda, um, and figuring out how to manage life so that it would be fun. And I wanted to be able to convey these things to all the people that I was teaching as patients. But I also decided that when I was in my medical practice, I could only see one patient at a time and affect one person at a time. So I said, what better venue than to go into media where I can affect thousands or millions of people at one time, helping them see all the menu of things that they have in life. So yes, you can go to your doctor and get medicines and surgeries, but you can manage your life with teas, with herbs, with different types of movement. You might call it exercise, but yoga and running and spinning and all these other dancing. You see me doing tango. Tango is a fabulous exercise. The other thing is when I was a doctor, people used to come in and tell me all the things about them. I knew everything about their life. I knew their mother. I knew their father. I knew their sisters. I knew their dog. I knew when they were leaving their wife. I knew when their husband was cheating on them. I knew when their husband decided that they were gay. I knew women came running to me when their husband beat them down and they had black eyes and they were pregnant. I was the kind of doctor that people really came to talk to to help manage their whole life. Well, guess what? I figured out that and people have figured this out thousands of years ago, it's just in Western medicine, we a lot of times don't link this together. That when people are struggling in life, that equals stress, that equals spiritual problems, and guess what? That affects their body. 
How can I, as an eye doctor, talk about these things? Because all the things that affect the body, we can see in the eye. Sometime before, doctors can see them in other places. And so my motto in my practice was good vision improves your outlook. And you can think about that on the literal sense. But very figuratively, you know, if somebody has really good vision, they're going to have a really good outlook on life. And so I'm Dr. Veronica, and this is why I became a doctor, but also why I decided to leave clinical practice, because I wanted to affect millions of people. And the way that I feel that I can affect millions of people is by being in the media and being able to tell people all kinds of things. There is not one size fit all. There are different things that work for different people, and we all need to find those things that work in our life. And that's Wellness for the Real World with Dr. Veronica.